So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Sun Ketu conjunction in the 12th house of your horoscope, as in what happens when Sun and Ketu are in the 12th house of your birth chart. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other logical details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy. Magha Vedic Astrology Academy, where you will find all my courses and my book, Nakshatras of the Speed of Light. And I'm also going to be putting the Vamsha uh, article there as well soon. So this is a particular conjunction that first of all, in terms of like something specific happening, you will see that when father was going to a pilgrimage, when father was going to a pilgrimage, he would injure his leg. Now, this can also, in the Western perspective, can simply mean, let's say, if your father was going to a church, you know, or if father was going to a family re reunion, yet it's a very religious, you know, theme where the, everybody's going to go to church together. That kind of becomes like a mini pilgrimage. So that's something you will see. The other thing we also see is that especially this person will find their spiritual um and and again this is not really truly spiritual because i've seen i mean i've seen even criminals with this particular uh you know placement when i did my research on certain people and you know especially certain public figures but sun ketu you know especially in a water sign will draw a person towards being in a place like monastery being in a place of like, you know, uh, spiritual ambience. They will focus their soul's path on spiritual uh, work. The other thing we also see with this placement is that a per this person is actually very humble. They will never show their arrogance. They'll never show their arrogance in public because of the fact they would have dealt with a lot of loss of their confidence in life due to whether it's enemies, whether it's dealing with some conflict, health issue, life, you know, especially um, by the time they're like 30 to 32, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be very humble. Even if they become multimillionaires with this particular position, you will never be able to tell that this person is a multimillionaire. They're very hidden with their persona they're very hidden with their characters their charisma you'll only get to find out once you know them personally otherwise this person may just look like a boring individual and the other thing uh, that also occurs with this particular son is that father and this individual will have a major fight or a fallout when they are traveling to some foreign place foreign lands so sure, one particular travel can injure father's feet. The other particular travel will bring about some kind of a um, fight and a conflict uh, between the native and their father. And especially father, if, it, if your birth is before sunset. If it's after sunset, then of course, we're going to have to look at Saturn more. But before sunset, this will definitely going to show a strong connection and dealing in karma with the father but here's the thing the karma with the father can be in a very benevolent uh, way where both you and your father will do spiritual practices will do like yagnas havans especially if this is happening in a fire sign in the 12th house you will take part in certain fire rituals like for example when I ask this person, you know, like, do you guys, do you and your father or a mentor do any kind of like fire ritual? And this is a person in U.S. And I'm just like, I just got to ask because you never know what people are. So this person said they're not. They don't do that. However, them and their father love doing barbecues on weekend and especially on uh, football days. It's like their whole ritual to you know, uh, uh, kind of like roast this and smoke this, and then they'll, you know, have their 
small little things that they do all the time during a football game on a weekend because they live nearby each other. So it's like that fire ritual, the raw fire kind of comes into play. Usually if it happens in, you know, in a water sign, uh, fishing. One will love going to fishing with their father. Now, of course, I've seen that mostly in the Western side. Um, I've hardly ever seen anybody like in India get a reading from me that was into fishing or went to fishing with their father. You know, this is um, maybe somebody who's, let's say, in Goa or on a beachside area grew up with their father, but they haven't gotten a reading from me. So that could be true as well. Uh, and the other thing we also see that this person uh, will never display or tell you how much they have, how much joint assets they have, how much money they have, what they're investing. They will just never, they will probably tell you they don't have enough money to invest. They don't have enough money to save up. They're, they're, Again, it's, there's this humbleness regarding that, but there is also this secrecy that they, they just don't want to dis display. Now, of course, you know, with certain other planets, this can uh, bring about a fighter too, somebody who's so competitive that they have to exert that anger, that frustration in a boxing ring, in an octagon. They can make fighters. Especially, let's say, if Mars is, uh, you know, looking at the Sun Ketu, one can even go into not just fighting, but go into uh, being a police officer, going into criminal justice system. Not necessarily lawyer, it could, but, I mean, the criminal justice system is something that I've uh, also seen with the Sun Ketu uh, placement. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Sun Ketu in the 12th house of your birth chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you don't know where your Sun and Ketu are placed, all your zoological details, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later.